In this video, we'll build a toolbar programmatically. So I'm going to comment out the loading of the toolbar and instead create a new function that's going to programmatically build the toolbar, toolbar using methods. The first thing that I need to do is define a couple of variables that are going to be references to the DOM node. So I'm going to be building this toolbar directly into the DOM and I'm going to need a couple of variables defined to do that. So I'll define one for the root node one for the toolbar node that I'll be building, and one for each child uh, in the, the toolbar item, each of the toolbar items. And those are going to be DOM node objects, so I'll set them up as such. So the first thing I'll do is just get the root node Then I'm going to let my toolbar or TB variable equal the root node and create a child from that. So I'm creating a new toolbar node. And the type of child I'm creating here is a toolbar. And I'm going to let my C variable equal the toolbar, create a child from the toolbar. So I'm referencing the toolbar that I just created and creating another child from that position in the DOM tree that is going to be of type toolbar item. Now once I have the toolbar item set, I'm going to want to set some attributes for it. So I'll call C, referencing my new child that is the toolbar child, and I'll set its name attribute to edit copy. So we'll just bind this toolbar icon to the front end edit copy predefined action. And I can do the same thing again, copy this and do the same thing for edit paste. So I've built two toolbar buttons here using the methods and I also am going to go ahead and set the toolbar itself, I'm going to set an attribute for the toolbar to set the text for each of the toolbar buttons to be hidden. And the way I do that is to, whoops, I don't want to be that, I want to go up one more. I'll do this on the toolbar itself. I'm going to call TB, the toolbar, set attribute. And the attribute I'm going to set is button text hidden. And I'll set that to true. Okay, so again, I've defined the DOM node object references that I'm going to be using. I'm getting a handle on the root DOM node. From that position, I'm creating a new toolbar node, setting the toolbar node's um, button text hidden attribute to true. Then from the toolbar itself, the toolbar node, I'm going to create a new child, which is a toolbar item, set its attribute to the edit copy, create another child, and set that attribute to edit paste. Now when we recompile and run the program, we see the edit copy and edit paste toolbar there at the top. This toolbar down below it is the forms toolbar. So again we've created a interface level or program level toolbar here and 
as we work within the program, the copy and paste functionality automatically works because those are predefined actions in Genero.